Okay, so we're just coming to a tunnel on the uh, BMW RGS 1250TE. Let's see what the standard horn sounds like. Hi guys, so as you can see from the intro clip, the standard manufacturer's horn isn't as loud as it should be, uh, you might have thought. Considering that safety is paramount and one of the main factors when riding a bike, we need other road users to hear us even if they don't see us. At a very reasonable cost, I upgraded uh, my standard horn on my BMW R1250GS with an aftermarket product and I will show you a clip in a second so you can compare the difference yourself, so the before and after. Now I bought the Denali Soundbomb Mini and Harness Adapter of £35, that's including VAT, in August 2021. That's the, the actual horn itself, the Denali Mini Bomb, and that's the adapter. It's, it's dead simple to, to fit and install, and I'll show you a clip of that installing it on the bike as well. Just to say guys, I'm not getting sponsored by Denali, I'm just uh, making this video just to sort of put it out there to say uh, it's a good idea to upgrade your horn to a, to a better one, a louder one. Uh, and as it says on the packaging, um, at 113 decibels, the distinctive low tone sound from the Denali Soundbomb Mini is more than twice as loud as a typical 100 decibel disc horn. Uh, and the Soundbomb Mini is designed to be a direct plug and play upgrade from your factory horn requiring no additional relay or wiring harnesses. And you get a bracket inside with the nut. Okay guys, just to say I've downloaded a uh, sound meter app on uh, my phone, so just to give it a sound check uh, on the standard manufacturer's horn of the bike, and then I'll do one again once I put the Soundbomb Mini on to see what the comparison is. Uh, so I guess it's not going to be 100% uh, scientifically accurate, but it's going to give us a, an idea or an indication. Uh, so I'll, I'll put the phone down nearby where the horn is on the bike and I'll give the old horn a blast. See what it measures at. That's coming out at 63 decibels. Give it another go. And that's not beating the 63 decibels. So that's on the standard manufacturer's horn, 63 decibels. Okay guys, so the uh, standard manufacturer's horn is located at the front of the bike, as you can see here. Underneath through the front uh, mud guard. And it's up underneath here and there you can see it and it's secured by a 13mm bolt at the back so I'm just going to undo that now I've actually already started to undo it so and drop down and, and then there's a washer at the back of it as well and then the, oh, we'll just drop down and then the two connectors at the back uh, which will take off and put the Soundbond Mini uh, and then the bracket will go on here will extend down from the existing bracket on the bike so it will come down here and then it will be located here the uh, standard horn is connected by the cam bus at the back so you just press the lever at the top to release the, to the wiring out of its retainer so that's the standard horn coming off there and that's put that next to the Denali sound bomb so you can see how much bigger it is next to the standard one this is the uh, wiring adapter and it's got the cam bus which just goes into the connector it's hanging down there so I push that in I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time so and that's in there and then the two connectors at the end will go onto the connectors here so I'll do that next and then the bracket will also go onto the bracket here to extend it down okay with the wiring adapter now in and I've bolted the uh, extended bracket on there you can see on the bolt Without further ado, I'll now put the connectors and call them crocodile sliders, so I'll push that into that. And 
and that's those now on so I'm going to push that into the uh, hole in the bracket if you can see I'm just putting the bolt in there now to whip that up to the bottom of the bracket whip that up so it's nice and tight yep that's good I'm just going to tighten that one at the top that's a little bit could be do with a little bit tighter and the only one safety element is that to make sure that you clear the forks here for obviously the play for when the forks turn but with this fit in that the gnarly does clear the forks and you can see if I turn it now it clears it by about I don't know an inch or so half an inch an inch okay guys so the uh, the sand bomb mini is now attached to the bike I'm just going to do a sound test again once from the top and once from the bottom uh, it should be a distinctive low tone sound um, so let's see how we get on with the uh, with the old horn that sounds 67 decibels and we'll go down and do it right near the front of the horn see what it comes out as and that's giving it 71 decibels maximum so um, it is a distinctive low tone which is more likely to be picked up by I guess who many is uh, but um, sounds a lot better so the distinctive low tone of the D Denali um, sound bomb mini uh, is better than the disc or on your standard manufacturers bikes let's see what it uh, sounds like going through that bridge again yeah so it's definitely got that sort of low tone sort of beef about it rather than a, a high pitch uh, moped sort of beep um, so it sounds more like a car or a van or a truck horn so um, it's a lot better if it was of some use to you uh, please give a thumbs up I'd really do appreciate it um, and maybe press the subscribe button and the notification bell for future videos ride safe take care bye for now